Hello everyone, I welcome you in the first lecture on design of sliding contact bearing part 1. So in this video, I am going to talk about the basic part of sliding contact bearing. So first we will see the definition of bearing. So bearing is a mechanical element that permits relative motion between two parts such as shaft and housing with minimum friction. Functions of bearing First is ensures free rotation of the shaft with minimum friction. Second, to support the shaft and holds it in correct position. And third, takes up the forces that act on the shaft and transmits them to the foundation. So these are the definition, these are the functions of bearing and a definition of bearing. Next classification of bearing. First classification is based on the direction of forces. So first figure shows the bearing shaft and frame. In this picture, the bearing is subjected to only radial force. There is no thrust or axial force. So thus, this bearing is called as radial bearing. Now consider second figure. In this figure, the bearing is subjected to only axial or thrust force. On this bearing, there is no any thrust, there is sorry, there is no any radial force. Bearing is subjected to only axial force or thrust force. Thus, this bearing is called as thrust bearing. Second way of classification is based on friction. So first figure shows the bearing having a rolling motion and thus this bearing has rolling friction. So this type of bearing is called as a rolling contact bearing. Second picture shows the bearing in which there is a sliding motion. So this is a shaft which slides on the inner surface of on this inner surface of bearing. So this type of bearing has a sliding motion and thus it has a sliding friction. So therefore this type of bearing is called as sliding contact bearing. Next the applications of a rolling contact bearing. First is machine tool spindles. Second automobile front and rear axles. Third gear boxes. Fourth small size electric motors and fifth roof shoes. Next the applications of sliding contact bearing. First one is the crankshaft bearings in petrol and diesel engines. Second centrifugal pumps. Large size electric motors. Steam and gas turbines. And last one concrete mixers, rope conveyors and marine installations. Next, elements of sliding contact bearing. So as we have studied the elements of rolling contact bearing, similarly here we have to study the elements of sliding contact bearing. So this is a sliding contact bearing. So first is the outermost part that is called as housing. Then on inner surface there is a bearing liner. Layer of one certain material is applied on the inner surface it is called as liner material so it is a bearing liner third one is the journal or shaft so in the sliding contact bearing the shaft is also called as journal and this is the clearance or space between this bearing liner and journal this is the oil inlet through this inlet all four we can supply the lubricant or oil into this clearance space. Remember here the lubricant required to reduce the friction is supplied through this oil inlet. This two dotted line shows this type of this is the split type of bearing that means we can remove or separate out this top part from the base. So these are the elements of sliding contact bearing for the more understanding consider the cut section of sliding contact bearing 
so here i have shown the complete model of sliding contact bearing these two lines indicates as i said it is a split type of sliding contact bearing we can remove this top part from the bottom one so cut section shows this is a shaft then this is a shell or a bush on the innermost surface of bush we have to apply the lining material remember the material of this bush is a different and the material of this lining is different for example here i have mentioned the white metal so white metal is the one of the metal which is applied whose lining or small thickness layer is applied on the inner surface of bush this white metal is also called as babit then this is a oil reservoir for the lubricant lubricant the lubricant is applied from this reservoir which will be supplied into the clearance space between journal that is shaft and lining bush lining and this is a pedestal or base so thank you for watching this video if you have any query please mention in the comment section thank you